Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another motivational cleaning video. Today I'm sharing how I store and organize our food in my fridge and cabinets. Filming this video in the morning after breakfast, there's also dinner in the oven and groceries that need to be put away. We went grocery shopping beforehand, which I normally don't like to do, but it happens. So to get started, I'm going to give my son something that he's been asking for, and then I'm going to clear everything out onto the countertops and clean the inside using my vinegar mix. Make sure you guys check the description for my updated recipe that I've been using for the past couple of weeks or months now. For those of you that tried the vinegar mix and it still smells like vinegar to you, I suggest adding in more essential oils. I played around with this mixture about three times so far and every time I change something, I like it more. I don't notice a vinegar smell at all or maybe I'm just used to it. It's still my favorite surface cleaner and I use it to clean everything every day. I buy my white distilled vinegar in bulk and I just mix it whenever I need it and I love it. The other cleaning products that I purchase, I probably only use once or twice a week and I'll go into all of that in an upcoming all day clean with me. Over the holiday season, we have been baking and cooking, so our pantry and our fridge needs a deep clean and reorganization. My freezer isn't too dirty. It stays a lot more organized and clean in there because we aren't in and out of it as often. Things don't really spill there either because I guess they're frozen. It's not empty at all. It's pretty much always stocked with food, so that's why I'm not gonna include that in this video. The wire baskets that I use in my pantry and fridge are from Walmart last year. I showed them in a video, so many people love them and actually a woman stopped me while I was at Walmart that day and asked me what I was going to do with them because I had so many and I just flat out said I have a YouTube channel and I'm going to be making a video on it so she handed me her phone and I literally subscribed to myself and turned on notifications and always wondered if she did watch. Before I put all my seasonings and jarred items back into the pantry, I'm gonna wipe everything off and organize them tallest to shortest and then some underneath with the metal shelf insert that's also from Home Goods. Now I'm filling up the baskets with produce and other food items that we keep in the pantry. One of the items went completely off, which I don't understand because I literally just bought this bag. So now I'm just putting everything back where it goes and then I'll move into the fridge. I was really, really hot while cleaning in this sweater. I kept telling myself, stop dancing and you won't be as hot, but I can't help it. The undershelf insert that I'm using to hold our breads is also from Home Goods too. Holding on. So now I'm removing everything from the fridge. I'll wipe down the door part where the condiments goes as well as the condiments themselves because sometimes they get sticky and spill. So that's what I'm doing there. To clean the inside, I'm using my vinegar mix and several cleaning cloths. Always, I have so many cloths and I switch them out all the time. 
Now I'm taking out all the drawers to wash in the sink with soap and water. I like to take everything out and look underneath in all the nooks to make sure I'm getting it clean because when things secretly spill, they sometimes go deeper than you think and the last thing you want is a stinky fridge. So when it comes to deep cleaning, I take everything out. So because all our food is sitting out under lighting, I was washing these super fast. Surprisingly, I didn't drop anything. There was a big piece of glass that goes on top of the bottom shelves and it's hard to grip, especially with gloves. I knew water was gonna run down because I've done this a few times, so I just went ahead and put some towels back there, also a few dish mats. Here we are at the most talked about part of my huge mess after meal prep video. So many people were concerned with the amount of eggs that we have and what we do with them. I think in that video I said that I bake often, which is true, and I showed that I baked in that video too. I'm not sure where the disconnect happened. But we also eat them, use them in recipes, breakfast, salads. I don't see what else we would do with them, but just to clarify. In this clip, I'm just cleaning up the kitchen as I normally would, putting food away, wiping down the countertops, offloading my dishwasher, and then loading it back up again. I also washed down the sink because we weren't going to be using it for a while. Dinner is still in the oven, so maybe that's why the kitchen is so hot. I didn't want to mop at this point because it's still early in the day, but there was so many crumbs from the cleaning I did, so I did sweep and then show you guys the end results. That is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed and feel inspired to organize using some of my methods. Let me know in the comments what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all in my next video.